Hey guys, this is Ishita and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a jacket. So guys, I just need to tell you that I'm not a professional sewer and I did not attend a designing or fashion institute and I did not learn how to sew clothes. So I did have uh, sewed previous projects like for myself like I sew a skirt and crop top and skirt and a jacket. So I will show you guys what what did I have uh, like sewed before in this section. So let's so idea of my jacket that I want this fabric is so nice. I mean it's kind of a stretchable fabric and it is a see through a little bit see through kind of fabric and this is like good for dupattas as well as. You can make a pillow cover out of this fabric and it is the cheapest fabric so i just want to make a jacket out of it with a long sleeves and some designing cuts so that's a challenge for me and i just want to take that challenge and challenge myself that if i'm able to do that because i did teach myself how to use this sewing machine which i have this fabulous sewing machine it's from my mom and uh, thank you mom for giving me this machine i enjoy this as well as i do like a uh, small stitchings like seam and adjusting my uh, fitting dresses with this machine and it's been great i teach myself how to needle and thread with bobbin and uh, how to all this and I mean like keeping this safe and working since then it's been like six months that I have learned how to use this sewing machine so that's that and idea of this is I want to get this type of jacket so this is not a professional drawing I'm not a professional person but still this is the idea of my drawing. So I have created my own measurements like this. It is kind of a rough measurements and a little bit messy. But I am going to make a pleated, not pleated, curly wala gown. So for that I will show you the measurements and how to divide according to your waist. And but if you don't have, if you don't want to get that hassle like getting all the measurements of your body and writing down and how to cut like seams and uh, sleeves. So what you can do, you can take your fitted or perfect fitted cotton blouse or cotton kurti and you can use that pattern as a trace of making this uh, jacket. So that will be easy and I have done that before I have made a jacket out of curtains and that was so difficult for me because the fabric curtain fabric was like hard and it did like thread broke so many times as well as I broke one needle so that was such a challenge for me so this time I have like traced everything I have even made a model because I just want to uh, refresh and brush my memory that if I can make a sleeves and obviously I have made, made so many mistakes in this first of all this curly pattern like this is curlies curlies are like this the border uh, broader on bottoms and from the waist is narrower I want five curly in this one because I think that's enough and that would be like a good size of curlies in my jacket so that's why I have chose five the mistake that I have made is this much like this pattern this this one I want the uh, separate like lining 
on the waist over here that it has like half an inch difference it should be it should not be but I have like I have made a mistake in calculation so that I have to change and as well as I want a one inch from this but this is a two inch difference so I don't want that like this is sleeves, sleeves less this is without sleeves and this is with sleeves so the mistake that I made in this shoulder pattern was like uh, I forgot to give a shoulder slot on the front of the fabric so that's why it's like a little bit tilted so that's just on the paper so I can like improve and I can learn from my mistakes so it will not happen on the real fabric that I want to like get the perfect stitching and perfect shape out of this also I'm concerned about the dart on the chest area if it's necessary if it needed then I will put that dot on the fabric otherwise I don't need it because it's a jacket it's supposed to be I want it flowy and let's let's get started and I will show you guys how to get this fabulous jacket so the first step that we are going to start is with ironing our fabric I want it straight and slick so I can trace the lining and the pattern on this fabric so let's get started with the ironing So the second step is we are going to start with cutting the patterns and the first thing that we are going to start with is kalis. So kalis are like really very simple and easy to do. First, first step that you need to do is take the measurement of your waist then divide it by the number of kalis that you want and the answers that you will get. Is, for example my waist is 30 centimeter 30 inches sorry so for example my waist is 30 and I want the number of colors should be 5 so 30 divided by 5 is equal to 6 so the inches from my waist will be 6 per colors and at the bottom it's upon you that you want to get that you want to uh, make it more flowy and more huge than go for 12 or 13 or 15 it's up to you but I'm going to take 10 inches so at the bottom I will be putting 10 inches and at the top of my colleagues will be 6 inches and the length I want is 40 inches or below 40 let's see because i and you also need to uh, get that half an inch for seam allowance like to stitching and all so so six inches plus one inch half half inches on both sides here i am taking pencil for marking because i don't have color in chalk <laughs> Anyway, what you're going to do first is trace the length of your colleen according to your height and start at the bottom flat. Mine is 10 inches wider that I want plus 1 is equal to 11 inches. For sleeves, come to the waist area, mark the 11 inches, get the mid point of that and measure the 6 inches waistline at the middle and trace it with the pencil fully. I am also marking 
half an inch for sleeve line then that will be your curly and cut the fabric with the scissors and when you cut your one curly that will be your pattern for cutting the rest of four curlies I'm also marking seam line on my fabric with the pencil because I want super fine line for stitching Now I am also going to cut the fabric for bodice. For bodice, you can trace your own cotton shirt or kurti. Here I am cutting with the horizontal line for the front of my bodice part that I want. This piece is for so this piece is for the back of the bodice. I have marked it all my measurements for waist, chest and arms. Sorry guys, my camera memory was full, so I have I have to remove all the frames and start all over again. And it was a long process and I don't have all the frames for cutting my front and back fabric for bodice. So this is my back of the dress and this is the front so what you can do you can trace the same material for back at front but like for sleeves you can trace your actual shirt your shirt if you have traced uh, your kurti or shirt then for shoulders i am taking four inches like from here from my arms to the shoulder to, to the neck I'm taking 4 inches and then I want that V cut so for V cut I'm lining I'm giving a line till this okay. so we are going to cut so keep in mind that you have to leave a half an inch for your seams I have already left a half an inch for my seams and you will get something like this to parts. Just to make sure. See, this is not what I expected. I want this part to be longer. So what will I do? I will cut this section and add it over here. Luckily, I do have right amount of fabric left for my full sleeves. It was a struggle, but I did manage to get two sleeves out of it. So the hardest part is over. For me the hardest part is like cutting patterns because I don't have like uh, craft papers for patterns or ready made patterns. So I do it all by myself, by learning. So I will also link it down below the basic stitches that I have learned from where I have learned. It's in YouTube video and the person that explains it like every in every detail like you will understand so again we are going to start stitching with our pleats that will be gullies the reason is that because i want to measure my waist first that's why we are going to stitch start with gullies so what we are going to do first First we are going to uh, close this lines by zigzag stitch. I know guys this is like longest process to do but trust me it will help the fabric with the loose threads. 
and it will also be guideline for stitching together so this helps a lot then we are also going to stitch all the colleagues together with a straight stitch Lenga looks like and honestly I must say that I'm really very happy with my result let's hope I can continue this type of work with the borders so if you are wondering how many meter this fabric is this fabric is Three meters but I, I think I should have by four meters because I do want more uh, gear more uh, radiance for the frock but I think this is okay because it turns out to be okay I will make a part two of this video for the bodice and this is not still this is unfinished work we will finish in the second part and thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you guys stay tuned for part 2 and please subscribe to my channel and like this video if you like my struggle of sewing this because I am not a professional I did not I did not went a school or I did not even have a sewing classes so I am just I just learn from online wonderful people on YouTube so they teach me how to sew and how to use this machine actually I did know how to sew <laughs> but with hands but I did not know how to use this machine I just learn it online and if you guys are so much interested and if you support me please support me and if you want to learn anything then we can learn together so guys see stay tuned and i will see you guys on my next video